He's not a bad person, but he sometimes has to do bad things. Today we're taking a look at Player's Kai, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Rude. Welcome back. It's great to finally add Rude to the collection. I'm so happy Square Enix has gone and done the secondary characters like Reno and Rude in the Player's Kai line. And uh, getting these characters in figure form is so great. So looking at the packaging, like the other ones, we do have a flap on the front that opens up. You get a good look at the figure inside, his accessories. On this side, we do have a little biography for Rude, which you can pause to read. Just the logo on the side. And at the back, a few pictures of the figure there, plus some Japanese text. So let's get him out of the packaging and see how he looks. Out of his packaging, we'll go ahead and measure Rude up. And as you can see, he stands about 10 and a half inches tall or about 26 and a half centimeters. And here's Rude next to his friend and fellow Turk, Reno. I think they look really amazing together. I like how the designs really contrast with Reno having the open shirt and uh, being a little bit uh, more stylish while Rude is just simple black suit down to business. For accessories, you do get the nice base here and this articulated pole, which you can just attach to any of the holes along here. And any of these two little claw pieces, just attached to the end there to help grab the figure and secure it. Very handy. You do get an alternate head sculpt here without the sunglasses. I'll take a closer look at this and compare it to the uh, version with the sunglasses but it is well done. You also get the sunglasses as a loose piece. I do like that they gave us uh, a version with the sunglasses attached. You could fit this on this figure or on this head, uh, no problem, but uh, they do have a tendency to kind of slide off and that if you move the figure, these will probably drop off. So it's always nice to have one with the uh, glasses permanently attached. Rude does fight barehanded, but you do get a variety of hands to go with him. You know, fell off. You do get two splayed open hands here, two more relaxed hands. This set here, where he's pulling on the gloves. I really like that. And this hand here for holding the sunglasses. And that's in addition to the two fists that come on the figure itself. So not a bad array of accessories. It would have been nice to have had uh, kind of an alternate uh, expression on this head but uh, there's really nothing else I can think of that Rude should come with. He didn't have a weapon or anything, so it's a pretty good array. And getting a close look at Rude here, he might not be the most interesting of uh, character designs from Final Fantasy VII, but I think because he does look so normal, he stands out next to the outrageous designs of the, the other characters here. But there are a couple of little things that kind of uh, added a little bit of personality to him. This kind of straight normal suit look fits his uh, personality in the game. Looking at the head here, see the sunglasses permanently attached. The eyes are still visible though underneath through the transparent uh, lenses there. Really good job on the skin tone. Not too light, not too dark. I think uh, he was supposed to be kind of mixed race and they've captured that well. The piercings around his ears, a very clean beard, nicely painted. Here we have the alternate head here. You can see the eyes, really well done, although I like Rude with the sunglasses. It would have been nice if this had a different expression, kind of an open mouth, angry, something like that, just to differentiate it a little bit. Because as I said, you can put the sunglasses on this head here and uh, it would work well, but uh, they chose to just uh, remove them. But at least you do have options, unlike uh, Cloud, who only has the one head. As we move down, really like this purple that they use. Very dark, but you got the, uh, the pocket uh, handkerchief there, it's done in a brighter color, really Helps uh, break up the black. It's not just a guy in a black suit. The jacket is a soft kind of rubber. So you can have him kind of posed 
reaching into the jacket and stuff like that, just like Reno. So it opens up. The tie is kind of a loose rubber piece, but it does stay nice and tight to his body like it should. Belt, well painted and detailed. A little bit of uh, concession to style here with his chain going down all the way to his back. Just kind of loops onto the belt there, which is neat. I do like the little bit of striping that we get on his sleeve here. And as we move down, you get it just above the knee. It just kind of breaks the suit up, makes it look a little bit uh, different. And the boots with the studs across it reminds me of uh, like the boots Arnold wore in the first Terminator film. So we go up the back. Just a simple straight suit, not uh, too wrinkled like it shouldn't be. So yeah, not uh, wild compared to some of the other figures, but this is the way Rude looked in the game, and I think they've captured that really, really well. I really like the um, the look of the Turks, and I think if hopefully we get a Sung and Elena to go with them, they'll all look really well together. Turning to articulation, there is a dumbbell joint on the head there. You can see that it is uh, separate from the neck, which does allow it to roll around and turn and everything. And then the neck itself has articulation there, so you get a good range of movement for him. He does kind of crack his neck to the side there in the game, I think, so that's good. The shoulders are able to raise really well. This kind of rubber gets out of the way. And it does shift up and down, so you're going to want to not pose them like that. You're going to want to try to get it up and around. There is rotation at the top of the shoulder. You do get a really good double bend elbow. Great for a fist fighter like uh, Rude there. The hands are on a hinge and they do rotate. There is a little bit of uh, ab crunch there, so he can look pretty well but he doesn't go back a whole lot uh, because of the suit design there there is a rotation at the waist that moves well there this uh, crotch piece here is a rubber as well so it helps with the legs there which are on ratchet joints as you can hear he is able to kick back not a bad amount Kicks forward well. Do have a double bend knee. Uh, not the nicest looking double bend knee, but it's there. There is rotation at the top of the thigh there, although there is the uh, the pleat in the pants there, which so I don't really like that kind of being broken up, but it's an option. There is no rotation at the knee or anything like that. At the bottom here, this is also a rubber piece instead of the hard plastic above here. And you are able to rotate the foot. It does go down. There is toe articulation and the foot goes up a bit. So you should be able to get him into a lot of really good poses and uh, kind of Kung Fu fighting stance and stuff like that. Overall, I'm really happy with this rude figure. It's not the most interesting design for the character, but this is very true to who he was in the video games and I think uh, having him posed with Reno and uh, Rufus Shinra, they're really going to look uh, good together. And I hope that we get Sung and Elena for Remake Part 2, Rebirth, as it's now called. Uh, so I really hope we get that and we can finish the Turks because they are such uh, great characters and it's great to have him in figure form. I have reviewed many Final Fantasy VII figures and I have more to come, so be sure to subscribe if you want to see those. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you could hit the thumbs up button. That would really help me out. For right now, I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.